Hello tankerses and tankers, this is Mouse Hunter from NoobClub.net. Today we'll have a look at a tricky tank, the Hellcat. Now why is it tricky? Some time ago I played a game called Carmageddon, a destructive racing game. A little like World of Tanks, with the main difference that you didn't have a gun. Whenever I play a fast tank, I'm in danger of racing my opponents and forgetting about the guns with horrific consequences. As racing games are quite popular, you may also have trouble with a habit just like it. The Hellcat may have the speed of a light tank, but it is a tank destroyer and therefore you must play it like a tank destroyer. You race to a nice sniper spot, then you park and you wait. I know your top speed is 72 km per hour, but you wait! And wait! The life of a scout is dangerous, the life of a TD can be boring. But when the enemy is spotted, you have to be ready. Reposition, conceal your tank, sniper, aim, fire, you all know this. But why is it so important when battling with a Hellcat? There has to be only one moment of inattention and you're done. The Hellcat is infamous for its paper armor. You know, the armor existed only on paper. Yeah, just kidding. If an enemy bounces off you, he must have done something wrong. Your speed is your best armor. First of all, it allows you to reach sniper spots fast, hopefully faster than your enemy. Then you are the one who is waiting in ambush. If you have to face an opponent, your speed helps you to duck enemy fire and to avoid artillery shots. Once a flank is secure or taken, you can reposition fast to find a new sniper spot. You gently bump your ally to tell him it's time to move along. That's a nice place here, even with some foliage. Aim time and accuracy of the 90mm gun are a pleasure to battle with. The reload time is 8.5 seconds with 100% crew and without any equipment. But for 160mm penetration and 240 average damage, we are willing to wait. Hey, that was my kill! But a Hellcat should not mess up with a Bulldog. Now I'm gonna show you what you cannot do with a Hellcat. If you attack an enemy face to face, you may expect getting damaged by each and every shot. The high speed may tempt you to use the Hellcat as a scout. No good. The hull traverse is awful and the turret traverse is even worse. Even a talk could circle you. Okay, bad example. Another bad idea is to outmaneuver enemy vehicles like a medium tank. You may not even reach your opponent. If you want to get closer to action, you have to find a good spot and you have to keep your Hellcat moving. Just 
one moment please i'd like to ask a favor of you please click the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to the youtube channel and become a noob club member to gain access to even more videos go to noobclub.net slash join and get some bonuses thank you and now let's continue as you know you cannot attack frontally wait until the enemy is busy fighting your heavies and approach their sides then fire with a friendly peekaboo and fall back immediately to improve your hellcat mount a tank gun rammer to reload faster an enhanced gun laying drive is not necessary in my opinion also binox and a camo net are very useful where is he huh as you cannot use an improved ventilation, you might consider selecting the perk Brothers in Arms for all crew members, maybe even as first or second perk. Once all crew members reached 100%, it adds a bonus of 5% to the entire crew. Oh my! Miracle! Two bounces! Ah, that was too hasty. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Take care on the battlefields and I hope I see you soon at noobclub.net.